Hello, I'm Adam. This is a story called Anything's Possible. It's about woodland characters faced with losing the oak tree that they love so much. I enjoy this book, and I know you will too. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. Early one morning, Owl, Snail, Robin, Badger, and Little Eggcorn were woken by a rat-a-tat-tat -tat sound coming from the roots of the great oak tree. They thought it was a woodpecker looking for grubs to eat, so they ignored it. But the noise got louder. Who is that disturbing my sleep? grumbled Owl. Me, said a little voice. Who's me? asked Cross Robin. It's Chicken, yelled Snail. You'd better all come down. She looks very cross. <laughs> Everyone gathered at the root of the tree. I've had enough, clucked Chicken. I've been using this path all my life. So did my mother before me and her mother before her. For months I've had to squeeze past this tree and now I can't squeeze any more, she shrieked. The woodland creatures took a close look and she was right. The old oak tree had grown so wide that no one could get past to the woods and fields beyond. If I don't get to the woods on the other side, I can't peck the ground for the things I need to make my eggshells. No eggshells, no eggs, Chicken moaned. We have a problem, said Little Eggcorn glumly. You'll have more than a problem if the farmer finds out, warned Chicken. He'll have to cut the tree down, she warned. Oh, everyone gasped. But he can't, said Robin. It's where I nest. It's where I sleep in my hollow, said Oil. I live in my set beneath its roots, said Badger. I need its leaves to curl up beneath, said Snail. It's always been my home, sighed Little Eggcorn. Then do something, and do something quickly, warned Chicken, as she strutted back to the farm. <laughs> Everyone turned to Wise Oil, as he was always the one with the good ideas. But before he could even begin to think, cows stomped towards them. Something's got to be done, she mooed. I simply can't squeeze by that tree again. Why, I almost fell in the river yesterday. Our problem is getting bigger, said a worried little eggcorn. The problem is that I need to get to the meadow to graze the lush grass. Cow said. No grass, and I can't make milk. If the farmer finds out, we know, they all quickly interrupted. Please don't say it. Then do something, and do something quickly, she demanded. We'd better hold a meeting, said Oil. Let's see if we can think of any good ideas together, as a team he said, hopefully. They were just about to begin the meeting when Sheep trotted towards them. It's just not good enough, she bleated. I've used this path for years to reach the turnip patch. I tried yesterday and my wool got caught in the bark. I simply couldn't get by. Our problem is even bigger sighed Little Eggcorn. It's more than a problem. If I don't eat turnips, my wool won't grow, she grumbled. If the farmer... Stop! We know. We've got the message, they all replied. Then do something, and do something quickly, Sheep warned. The woodland creatures found somewhere quiet and comfy to sit, to think about their problem. Oil said they should have a think tank. No one knew what that was. 
Oyl said everyone had to think hard and share their ideas. They all thought hard, but none of their ideas helped solve the problem. Then Wise Owl made an announcement. I think we should carry out some research. No one knew what this meant either. Well, we need to ask all the farm animals if they need to pass by the old oak tree. If it's only sheep, cow and chicken who have a problem, perhaps it's not such a big problem after all, he smirked. But it was a problem, a very, very big problem. Turkey told Robin she couldn't reach the wood to peck for worms. Goat told Snail he couldn't reach the wood to rub his horns on the trees to stop them being so sharp. Pig told Badger he couldn't get to the wood to snuffle for juicy roots. And Horse told Little Leghorn he was in need of exercise badly and couldn't reach the meadow to gallop. The woodland creatures returned sadly with their news to Isle. Dear, dear, sighed Isle. What shall we do? The creatures from the farm can't go under it. They can't go through it. They can't go over it. They can't go round it. Wait a minute, said Badger excitedly. They can go under it. I'll dig a tunnel. Brilliant, said Isle. But cow and horse will never fit in a tunnel. If we chop some of the lower branches off, chicken can flutter and flap over them, as she can fly a little bit, chirped Robin. Amazing, said Oil, but cow and horse can't fly. Wait a minute, shrieked Little Leghorn. We can use the branches we cut down to make a bridge over the river. Then cow and horse can reach the meadow. Unbelievable, said Oil proudly. What a team you are. We must hurry, said a worried little leghorn, before the farmer hears about the problem. Right, announced Oil. Let's make a plan. What resources do we need? I'll make a list, said Badger. When they'd finished, Oil said, they should decide on their rules. Again, no one knew what that meant. We all need to take a job each, he explained. Then we'll finish the job more quickly. I'm good at digging, cried Badger. So I'll dig the tunnel. I'll move all the leaves first, said Snail, helpfully. Robin and I are good with a saw, so we'll cut the branches down, said Little Leghorn. Then we'll all work together to make the bridge, called Isle from the top of the tree, where he was directing operations and watching his team with pride as they worked so quickly and well together. By sunset, their work was done and a splendid tunnel and bridge had been made. The woodland creatures sat together, admiring their work that evening as the sun went down. They all slept well that night. The next morning, Robin flew off hurriedly to the farm to hand out invitations advertising a special event. The grand opening of the great oak tree tunnel and bridge, it read. The farm animals marvelled at their work and had great fun trotting under, over and across the woodland way. Chicken decided it was too much work to fly over the branches and use the tunnel instead. After a splendid feast prepared by Little Leghorn, the farm animals gathered to thank them. Cow stepped forward and made a speech. Fellow woodland friends, the animals of the farm would like to thank you for being such enterprising folk. Only Isle knew what the word meant, but everyone else could tell it was something good. The end.